All right, pre mailbag sound check, everybody. Check, check. One, two. Oh, hi, buddy. All right. I know I'm a couple minutes early for a change. I could do that every day for a year and not make up for all the times I was late. <laughs> so, uh, uh, all right. You have an actual stick here. This is not like silver vine or anything. It's just a regular old outdoor stick. I'm going to get rid of it, okay? All right. I have a seat right here. Check our camera angles and whether everybody can hear me okay. Hi, Teaspoon. Hey, buddy. Did you hear there might be something for you in today's mailbag? camera's a little low, I guess, but, uh, well, that's all right for now. Uh, I mean, it's all right. Maybe if I, these kids get off my lap, I'll pick it up, but otherwise I'm just going to sit here. Uh, teaspoon's going. Sounds good, excellent. And everybody's off my lap, so let me just flip this just a little bit higher. I keep forgetting to bring, there's a tool to uh, sort of lock it in place. I keep forgetting to bring that would probably be very helpful. Oh. It's uh, like, a, like a Torx or something. I don't know, I've got it anyway. Uh, all right, let's see here. Now, how are we looking? Well, it might actually be a little bit high, but that's all right. Hi. Okay. <laughs> I see crotch cam is in full effect. Uh, maybe I should move it over a little bit so it doesn't seem so much like that's what we're going for. Hang on a sec here. There we go. That's more appropriate if I want to show anything off. I mean, you know, the gifts and not, you know. <clears throat> All right. Moving right along. <laughs> Let's just leave that alone. Uh, I don't think today's going to be a very long mailbag, but let me cover what I can think of for news. Oh, um, I know I was missing this last week, and I was like, I know I just had seen it somewhere. I set it somewhere. And as I thought, I had set it on the bedside table, but the kittens had stolen it, and I found it later when I was cleaning the bedroom. So uh, that's the story. Anyway, uh, for news, what's news? I did mention on Discord, and I wanted to tell everybody, I've been talking about how, of all these kittens, PJ is the one, uh, pajamas is the one that I seem to have sort of the most difficulty getting to be petted and picked up, and she's still kind of like that. But she spent last night in the spa with us, and uh, this morning she came to me to be petted and snuggled, and she was purring so much. And every time I would stop petting her, she would meow and headbutt me, just like Skye does. So uh, she's really starting to get into it, and that's great news. She's going to be a real good friend to somebody at some point. Um, other news, let's see. So, uh, you know, we've got the new kittens upstairs, and they're doing very well. The weight gains today were perfect. Very happy about the gains today. And... Uh, their mom does have an upper respiratory uh, thing going on. You probably have heard her and seen her sneezing. And oh, wow. Um, I missed getting a uh, video of that because she, uh, she was so fast. Little Joyce just ran up the carpeting and got onto the steps up there. Uh, that, was, that was very skilled. I'm super impressed. It might have been on the ceiling camera if that's still on. 
Uh, okay, so what was I saying? I was saying uh, she's got a little bit of an upper respiratory going on, and I think DJ gave her a steam treatment for it this morning. Unfortunately, I did message the doctor, and the doctor basically said that she wouldn't recommend giving her famcyclovir or dewormer yet, uh, unless, you know, we could use a more gentle dewormer, but it's nothing that's going to be effective for the tapeworm, so I don't know if there's really a point. Um, as far as that goes. However, um, we are going to treat her, I guess, symptoms as best we can until it is time. And she still has her vet appointment on the um, Tuesday, on the Tuesday, uh, next Tuesday coming up. So uh, we're still going to keep that appointment just so the doc can check her out and make sure she's doing all right as she can be. But I do think she's doing fine. You know, she's eating plenty, she's drinking plenty, she's pooping, she's taking care of the kittens to the best of her ability. So uh, I'm not too concerned about it. I just want to point out the fact that, yeah, we know she's got a bit of a cold and uh, um, very sneezy, but we're, we're keeping an eye on her, like I said, best we can. Otherwise, no big news. I know in the last couple close-ups, I've been saying that I want to take care of the basement, and I did. Well, I didn't do all of it, but I spent a long time down there yesterday at organizing and getting stuff put away and cleaned up and removing a whole bunch of boxes that were down there since, you know, I'd bring all the endowments down there. And I had a pile of empty boxes and stuff that was just growing so I broke all those down. I've since replaced it with another pile of boxes from going through a bunch of the endowment stuff and consolidating. Um, so there's still more work to be done down there, but I'm feeling really good about it. And I found all kinds of stuff that I just I forgot about or didn't know we had. Tons of cat toys and cat trees and cat beds. Uh, so I'm putting those in places where they will be a little bit more obvious to me every time I go down there. and Maybe we can get more of them deployed. I think that'll be fun. Um, and uh, by the way, thank you all so much. And I, I apologize if any of you have, have shown us this wonderful generosity and felt like we didn't really appreciate it. It's just, you know, we've made jokes before about the basement being like the last scene from Raiders of the Lost Ark, where they take the, the super valuable treasure and box it up and put it in a giant government warehouse, never to be seen again. We don't talk about the fourth movie. Uh, so... Um, and it was, it was really just a joke for a long time, but now it's, in a way it's almost true because there are a number of things that I have been sort of unearthing down there, and I'm like, oh man, how could we have forgotten about this, or how could we not already use this or deploy it, or, you know, the kittens would love this thing. So um, we're trying, we're going we're gonna to get through all that eventually, and we're making good steps towards it, and uh, I really do... I feel uh, terrible about it if somebody was like, oh, man, I sent that toy. I thought so much about it. You know, it was the perfect thing, and, and you never got a chance to get it out there. Uh, well, maybe the time's finally coming. She looks like she wants to jump. Oh, she did. Look at that. Oh, man, I hope that is all on the stream because that was great. Okay, uh, I think that's it for news. I don't really have anything else to cover uh, except for, you know, my sincere apologies and, uh, you know, brighter uh, news. I feel, I feel really good about all the work that we've done down there so far. So, making progress. Um, yeah, we should, might as well get to it. Like I said, I don't think it's going to take very long because there's no letters. Um, there might be some in one or two of these boxes, but most of these are also drop shipped. So... Um, I think that stuff tends to go pretty quickly. And that's good for today because not only do I want to get back to the basement, but it's been a couple days since I've had a chance to go work out and I, I, can't, I can't not do that. You know, I, I don't want to lose the, the good habits that I've started to build there just because I'm, say, cleaning the basement or something. I've got to still give priority to that too. So, um, so it's not bad that, that this mailbag may not last so long. This guy just ran up on PJ and got a little bit of a hiss out of her. And now she's trying to play. I think PJ's playing. But PJ is, uh, I think PJ Pajamas is also one of those cats that can be uh, excessively noisy, even when she's playing, sort of like Maggie does, where it's just all this sound that makes you think, oh my goodness, that is one angry cat. But I don't think she's always angry. I think sometimes she really is just playing. That was obviously play. All right, uh, time to get back into it here. So let me just double check on everybody and everything, and then we'll start opening stuff.
All right. Good, good, good. Okay, where to start? I don't even know. We're just going to jump right into whatever's on top here. This is uh, from Mishi. I know that from the name on it, but let's see if there's also going to be a note. Oh, oh wow. These are like some unusually sized cat springs. I have never seen ones that are in this size. That must be why you decided to send them. And a little packet of what appears to be catnip, but it's packaged just like a desiccant would be. I haven't seen that before either, but it definitely is catnip. It smells really good too. From a store called Polly Jolly. Oh wow, it's but I'm that's really spelled strangely. It's spelled P A W L L Y J O Y L L Y. Polly Jolly is how I would say that. Um, and it is on uh, apparently uh, Instagram and is that Etsy's logo? I don't even know what logo that is. Wow, I must be really out of touch now. Um, anyway, all it says is expect more toys dash Mishi 60. <laughs> all right, Mishi 60. Uh, thank you very much. Well, these are cool though. So first off, we got this looks like a bonus spring. It's just a tiny, short, uh, small but long spring. It's a small radius. And then we have these, which appear to be like the regular springs, but huge. I know Teaspoon has been a fan of springs. I wonder if he'll go for one of these. I'm picking the red one out actually because the yellow ones are almost the same color as the floor. That's fun too though. Cats like stuff that's a little bit, you know, uh, hard to see, like it's hiding from them. Look at the size of that. That's way bigger. I, how come there's no standard spring here for me to grab? Well, this is much bigger than they are. Oh, okay. See you later, kids. Well, maybe we'll get out one of the lighter colored ones and see if Teaspoon wants it. I'm sure you sent these to be shared with everybody, and we will, but it's, uh, it's fun to see a different spring. How about that? These are probably just, uh, I don't know... Drawing on my knowledge of plastics, I would say these are probably just PLA uh, extruded. And so uh, I'm only saying PLA because they're too stiff to be uh, ABS, but those are the only plastics that I know. So I'm, I'm really pretending like I know anything here. Okay, uh, Mishi, 60, thank you so much. Those springs are great. And uh, the kids obviously already having a good time with them, chasing them around. Teaspoon didn't even get one yet, but he will, don't worry. We'll make sure he gets one. Uh, I'm also gonna put your note and the catnip back in here with the springs for now. Oh, sh 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 okay, we don't need you chir chirping, chiming in. Hang on, let's turn you off for now. There you go. Okay. Thank you very much, Mishi. Okay, this one is from Charlie I. So, another regular correspondent. Um, interesting. I thought that the, I saw this said cat, the name rings, but I see something else on the back here. So, we'll have to see what's going on inside. Okay, I've got an envelope in an envelope, uh, all nicely packaged. I'm trying to get it open without causing any real damage to anything. Oh, I see you've reused the, uh, the Amazon package. That's smart. That's good. All right. I'm going to just get right into this. Just rip it up. Okay. Oh, well, it is t-shirts. It said it would be t-shirts. It is t-shirts. And I don't think it's name rings at all. But it says two crocheted rings on the one side. Maybe they're hidden in there. Okay, just checking. Let's see. There's a note, so let's start with that. Hello, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Enclosed, I found these t-shirts whilst looking for cat stuff. Spacecraft, oh, hey buddy. Spacecraft for a space room to wear when you can. And a replacement size for DJ's teaspoon, a t-shirt of Teaspoon's Doctor. I hope this fits better. Take care, Charlie. Purrs and meows from Weirdo and Kevin. Well, I didn't know there was one a shirt that didn't fit her. She likes to wear big shirts anyway when she wears them around the house. These space cats are great. Look at that. They're being abducted by a big flying saucer. That is perfect. I really like it. That's going to be fun to wear. Um... 
Uh, speaking of fun to wear, we had that cat loaf shirt, I think, came in last week. It's just been through the laundry. I was looking at it this morning when I folded it, and I'm like, okay, after I work out, that's what I'm going to try to change into. Oh, yeah, I remember seeing this shirt before, so I guess you sent it in a different size. I'm sure T DJ, TJ? No, DJ will think that it is fantastic. It does look just like Little Teaspoon. It's got blue eyes, and it's dressed up in scrubs. Uh, that is a, a wonderful likeness. And it's a dark color. She likes to wear dark colored t-shirts, and I'm sure this is going to fit her just fine. So uh, uh, thank you very much, Charlie. Those are going to be really fun for both of us. Um, I probably will put them through the wash once so that they don't have quite so many wrinkles in them, or not the same wrinkles anyway. We'll put our own wrinkle on it. <laughs> and uh, we'll go from there. All right. Moving right along. All right, this is just addressed to Kitten Academy mailbag. Will there be a note? Ooh, it looks like uh, big catnip uh, kickers. There's a lot of play going on here next to me. Welcome, Long Mom. You seemed happy for Silvervine when you got here. Please deploy these in the annex with Long Mom from Share Bear. All right, these must have been sent before she had her name Gadget, but I do know who Long Mom has to mean Gadget. And that's interesting because um, normally I would expect these to have catnip in them, but uh, maybe they have silver vine. That's fun. Either way, I know she's going to like them. She, she does like to play quite a bit or was enjoying playing. Now I think she's just trying to get over her URI. Although the toys in her room do get shaken around very, fairly often, so uh, she may get back to it. Oh! And at the bottom, they have a little bit of feather, too, so that's extra fun. I'm going to write Gadget on these so that we remember who they are for if we don't end up deploying them immediately. I think these are a great gift for her. Share Bear, thank you so much. Um, let's see, Gadget. Perfect. All right, set that right over here for now. And... Keep rolling. What do you guys think, huh? I guess they're sitting on top of all that, so I'm going to have to open this one next. Go Pet Club. All right, Go Pet Club. I guess that's all we really know. It's not anything in the address, and this is clearly like a drop shipment from the manufacturer. Now, we did get a message about something being from Wayfair. I wonder if this is a Wayfair thing that just, you know, like the, a brand of theirs or uh, just somebody that, you know, you buy on their site. Maybe that could be what it is. Or maybe it's something completely unexpected. Nah, I think this has got to be it. Uh, DJ was telling me, hang on a second here. Let me just double check. It says, Ginger Cat Lover sent a beige bed from Wayfair for Teaspoon. So this is beige, and I'm betting that this is from Wayfair. Uh, so this would be from Ginger Cat Lover, who is on the chat right now. And you can let me know if that's right or not. Um, what it is, let's see what it is. Oh! I see. It's sort of like the pineapple bed in that it is a bed on top of a post. Uh, and that's, uh, that's basically it. Here's the post, as you can see. Here is the bed. Very, oh, very nice bed. Look at that. And then I'm sure there's a base. Yes, there is a base in there as well that's also made of the same sort of beige material. Well, this is exactly the sort of thing I think he would like. You know, he does spend a lot of time in that um, the wicker basket bed that is also at the top of a post. So I think he is going to enjoy this. And it's big, too, so he can grow into it. He can be a little bit bigger, or uh, he could share it with the kittens like he often does because... Uh, okay, she does say, confirm it. Yes, this is for Teaspoon. Uh, because he often does share his bed with the kittens. I was mentioning that Alcove, uh, I caught him and Alcove both in the, the, the raised bed together uh, just the other morning, all snuggled up and taking a nap. I couldn't get a picture of them while they were still asleep, though, because when I went over with the camera, they woke up and looked at me, and then Teaspoon got up and left. I did get a picture of them together, uh, which I posted on Discord already, but... 
uh, they were awake at that point, so it didn't quite have the same effect. I assure you that they were actually sleeping before that. This is really cute. This will be perfect for Teaspoon. He's going he's gonna to super appreciate it. So I am going to write his name on here. Like I said, I know he'll share it with all the other kittens in whichever room it goes to. I'm assuming it will get put into the spa. Um, but we may not get it in there right away. We'll see. I know, just, I'm just talking like I'm just going to add more stuff to the archives. I really don't want to do that. Okay. Teaspoon. Perfect. Okay. Uh, Ginger Cat Lover, thank you. This is so generous. It's really wonderful. And here comes a little teaspoon. He wants to check it out. But he also knows that Sky gives him some trouble. She wants to play, I think. She's not, like, angry at him. But he doesn't seem to take it that way when she's uh, so much bigger than he is. Okay, we have something else here also from Mishi. Uh, you did say more toys. <laughs> what? You did say more toys to come. Wow, uh, that is nuts. Um, I will show it to all of you in just a second. Let's see if <laughs> there's a note. It says, to be used as you see fit, I'd love if it could go with Joyce for her endowments from Mishi60. All right. I don't know why Joyce gets this in particular, but this is a little bit nutty, and I like it. Um, so this is for Joyce. Oh, there's two. So we could send one with Joyce and have one for deployment. They are brains. They are big brains. Even uh, Not only is it a brain, <laughs> which is great, not only is it a brain, but it's got the brain stem, too, which is like a long um, twi a braid. It's got a braid that is also sort of that same color that hangs off the bottom where the brain stem or spine would attach. Um, and it's from a store called Meowy Janes from Mishi60. That is a really bizarre catnip uh, toy for the cats. I, I love it, and I think it's super cool. Big brain, galaxy brain stuff right there. Um, and there's also some stickers they sent us, which are awesome. They're a little small for you guys to see, maybe, but this one says, you are awesome. And this one has this really cool-looking uh, Japanese warrior cat. I don't know if you can make out. He's got the little Japanese uh, tattoos, I like the traditional... And uh, some sort of a sword there. I can't really tell exactly which kind it's supposed to be. And then we have their sticker that's a rainbow holographic sparkly thing. Those are very fun. Okay, I want to put those with the t-shirts to go upstairs with me. As for the brains, uh, wow, this, <laughs> this is really fun. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and write Joyce on one right now. And that way it will go to her and we'll put that in for the endowments. And uh, one of them I think I'm going to put out right now because this is silly and fun and I don't know what else we're going to do with it. So let's just uh, let's have one out right, right this minute. Look at that. I love it. This, uh, it's just, <laughs> yeah, all right. Uh, this could almost be a reference to the, I always say for no reason instead of no reason, which is uh, a line from that Futurama episode where the, the giant floating brains take over the entire planet. Uh, they say, uh, it's, you'd have to see it. You either know or you don't. Um, if you don't, oh my goodness, go watch Futurama. It was great. All of it. Okay, uh, that is really weird, and I love it. I love how sort of bizarre and uh, unusual that is. And who doesn't like a brain? It's got a rattle in it, too. And, and I do think it makes a great little cat toy. It's a little, you know, toy that they can play with and wrestle with, and it's got the, the braid on the end that's nicely tied off. Uh, very pretty all around. It's a, it's a very good toy. It's super creative. I love that kind of stuff. Not your everyday cat toy, uh, and very clever. Now we have something from G, a girl. And G, a girl says, Enjoy your gift for the new Calico Mom Cat. Please put in her endowment from G, a girl. Aw, oh, thank you very much. All right, we're going to write down that this is for Gadget. Gadget. 
perfect. And I'll just put it right over there with her other stuff for now. Look at that. So we've already got somebody playing. I hope you can see that. Um, Sky is full on cat bunny kicking and wrestling that brain. Oh, and now she's getting attacked by kittens. And now Joyce is going to... Look at that. Joyce went right for it. Can you see that? Joyce is now the one wrestling it. So that's a perfect toy for her. Check out the big brain on Joyce. Oh, okay. Everybody else, though, is just... Every time somebody tries to play with the brain, everybody else comes in and tackles them. So that's a fun game to play. That is really fun. Uh, the, uh, the brain and uh, GA Girl, thank you so much for the banana. She will love the banana. As I was going through stuff in the basement, um, there is, so far, one catnip banana that is unaccounted for. So uh, I believe that GA Girl had us deploy one uh, from her reserves that she had here. We'll just say that is also one from the GA Girl collection. We'll see about that. I was just thinking of it because I had seen it and I just set it aside and there you go. Okay, this is addressed to Kitten Academy. Where is the note? Well, let's see. There's something here. Oh, now look how pretty these are. We've got some lavender blankets and... Some real pretty patterns. We've got uh, um, uh, ostrich feathers on one of these, and then sort of a, I don't know what you call this. This is a very distinctive pattern, but I don't know what it's called. It's got to have a name. All these things do. Uh, super pretty colors. The sort of pastel, I love it. It says, welcome to KA Gadget. Here are some blankets to keep you and your babies warm and cozy. Thank you, Mr. A and Dr. DJ, for all you do from... Frozen Tundra Crew! Thank you so much, Frozen Tundra Crew. It's no wonder you always send us blankets for the little kitties, being from the frozen wasteland as you are. Blankets are probably very important to you, and they are very important to our cats and kittens. Uh, fantastic. We go through quite a few of those, actually. Um, so, thank you very much. Wow, everybody wants to play with the brains. That's fantastic. Uh, okay, this is also just addressed to Kitten Academy, and it says, scanned, available for pickup. Good to know. Oh, oh, hey, look at that. I was wondering, uh, oh, well, actually, no, now I'm still wondering. Um, okay, I don't remember who sent these last week, but these are more of the same set of um, toys to go on the wands, so wand attachments. Uh, with the cool dragonfly toy in here, and then it's also got a collection of feathers and a little, um, like a marshmallow bed type uh, thing. Um, and I think just some regular worms too that aren't dragonflies, maybe, looks like. Uh, lots and lots and lots of attachments. So I know we, I counted like seven of these in the last mailbag and thought if we had eight, they would make great endowments, and now we've got eight, nine, ten. So, um, uh, extra, extra. Uh, that's perfect. Sometimes we need some extra of those, and I think I did take one and open it and use some of it because uh, I know we played with that dragonfly, and they like that quite a bit. So that's all good. Thank you to whomever needs to take credit for that. I looked. There wasn't a note in the box, so um, my memory is certainly not going to help. This is from Alto Clarinet Lady. Let's see what we have here. The note, or letter, or card. Good, that's a good place to start. And it's got cute little uh, three-dimensional kitten stickers on it. Aren't they adorable? Little tiny, tiny little puffy kittens. Okay. And the note, or cards. Uh, let's see, it's got a really cute little drawn kitty on the front, surrounded with a washi tape border. It says, hello, Kitten Academy. I hope you like this card from a local card maker. Oh, I do. The drawing of the kitten is adorable. Uh, made by Manon LaCroix. I see. Uh, I'm sending a painting I painted of the four skyscrapers kittens. I'm also sending a color-changing mug. The mug is Christmas themed, but you can use it when you want. Sending you much love from Montreal. Uh, Emily, who is Alto Clarinet Lady. Alto Clarinet Lady, thank you so much. It's very thoughtful of you. The card is adorable. The painting is fantastic. It looks just like them, all four of them, sitting at the window and looking into a beautiful sunset or maybe a beautiful sunrise, I guess. It could go either way. 
and you've really perfectly represented them. Even you can even tell which one is Gabe and uh, which one is Rafter. So, oh, and you've labeled it on the back. That's even more perfect. Thank you. Whenever we get custom art from somebody, I love to keep their card with it forever. Oh, look at how perfectly that card fits into the back of this canvas. Uh, I like to keep the card with it forever so we always sort of know who it was from and, and what it represents to them. And uh, this is perfect. You like that, don't you? It looks just like you. Thank you so much, alto clarinet lady. Uh, there's a kitten in your box now. Hi, Rafter. What are you doing in here, huh? Mwah. All right, let's see now. You've also sent... What is going on here? Oh, the ch color-changing mug, of course. All right, good. Let's just take a look, make sure we're not missing anything. It's very cute. It has a cat and a dog sitting on a frame with stars. And apparently, once it's got something hot in it, it turns into a Christmas scene with them sitting on a folding chair. Uh, so there you go. You can see them on the frame. I wonder if I use my thumb, can I get it to warm up enough to show us a little bit of the Christmas scene? No, nope, I don't think I'm warm enough. All right, well, I don't win any points for being hot. <laughs> uh, that's all right, though. That looks really cute. Thank you so much. And we will use it any time. Of course we will. We don't stand on any sort of formality here, and especially when it comes to Christmas. We do Christmas whenever we want, uh, all the time, actually. So that's wonderful. I wonder, can we can we wash these things? Can these go in the dishwasher? Not suitable for dishwasher or microwave. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we'll still find a way to enjoy it. I've got at least one other mug that I use on a regular basis that is also not suitable for those things, so no worries there. I'm going to put this stuff in the pile of things that are going with me, and I'm just going to put this right on top since you've nicely wrapped that up. I don't have to worry about ruining it yet. That leaves us with one more package. Uh, by the way, Alto Clarinet Lady, thank you. I know you make wonderful cookies that you've sent to us before. I really appreciate you looking out for my new diet that I'm trying very hard to stick with and not sending us any of your lovely cookies this time. That's super thoughtful of you. All right, this giant box says it is from Trouble and Carry. They always send giant boxes, but normally they're giant boxes that they have packed. This is a giant box from Amazon, so that's a little mysterious. Let's see what would be in here. Well, in classic Amazonian, Amazonian style, there we go, easy for me to say. Oh, oh, all right. What we have here is a box in a box. And I recognize this box, actually. If I can get it out of here, <laughs> I'm going to have to tip this whole thing up to do it. Hang on. There we go. There may be a note. Uh, the reason I said I recognize this is because I just saw this same box in the basement. And you may even think, oh, we sent this to you once before. But where did it go? Well, the truth is, this one isn't one that has been lost. Uh, hang on here now. From Trouble and Carry. That's all it says. Okay. Oh, okay, but this gets more interesting. Aha, uh -huh. the rabbit hole goes deeper. So first off, I was going to say this isn't one that was lost. It's one that I set aside with sort of modern looking things to sort of go out as a theme. And so it's been in that pile. Uh, and I look at it often and think, oh, I should deploy that. And then I think, well, not for this one. Um, so I've just been putting it off indefinitely. But the reason I say this gets so interesting is because it says here on the side of this, uh, no, it doesn't say it on the side, it says it here on this note that I'm holding, stackable cat condo. So now that we have two, maybe that makes it even more interesting. We could put one on top of the other. I have to have a look at it because I don't remember what it actually looked like if we even did look at the other one. So let's have a little peek here together. Ooh, somehow that's not at all what I was picturing. I wonder if it is identical to the other one. Oh, this is so nice. TJ is going to love this. So, uh, I love this. Wow, okay, now I've got to go and open the one that's in the basement. I mean, when I say now, I mean soon. Uh, but look at that. Look how cool this is. 
it is, it's wicker, and I, I guess I didn't anticipate that part. And uh, I don't actually see how it stacks, but you could easily put one or two of these together with a zip tie and have as many as you wanted, couldn't you? It's also got a very nice cushion, and it's got this cardboard piece here that doesn't appear to be related at all. It's just a little extra bonus for fun, I think. How about that? Wow, this is very cool. All right, look at that. It's sort of like the hanging basket, uh, or it would go with the hanging basket. That's so pretty. Huh. Well, I'm, I am going to have to check out the one, other one and see if they go to get... Look at that. Teaspoon's already in there. Sky, don't intimidate him. Now he's trapped, because there's no second way out of this bed. <laughs> at least not for a cat. So let's not, let's not poke at this guy, all right? What do you think, buddy? You like this? Wow, this isn't the bed that was sent for you, though. I like it. It's very cool. I don't think that this is real wicker, is it? It seems like it's a plastic string that's been strung through. It is, definitely, because uh, I can see the end of it. Huh, interesting. So it is, uh, there's a frame that is metal that is, the, the whole shape of it, I can see it's got crossbars, and it goes around like this, and there's crossbars on the side, too. So there's a metal frame, and then to the metal frame, they have added all of this stuff that looks like vines uh, and is, in fact, a plastic tubing, uh, believe it or not. But it is colored to look just like it was legitimate uh, rattan or wicker. So it's very pretty, and it will probably last a lot longer than rattan or wicker would. So uh, that's, that's pretty cool. Thank you so much for that. I opened it up to look at it, but it seems like I can't put it away now because it is occupied by a teaspoon. So I guess we'll have to find a place for it. Uh, that was not exactly what I intended to have happen, but uh, if he's already sort of picked it out, then who am I to contradict that? All right. D plus garden, it says. Wow, that's not a very good grade, is it? I guess, you know, you just do what you can. Oh, it shows us the ancient Chinese character for rattan. That's cool, too. Hmm. I don't know why, but okay. It's part of the quick reference. <laughs> why? Why is it part of the quick reference? Hmm. I have no idea. All right. Well, it is educational. That was mailbag, everybody. That was the whole thing. I'm going to pack up what I can and send it downstairs, or, or upstairs, as the case may be. And then I will, well, then I'll go about uh, the rest of my day, because I've still got all those things I said to take care of. Oh, did you already get kicked out of your new bed, buddy? That's fine. We'll find a place for you. This might be like a great bed to go, bed to go on our bed. For some reason, there's always a cat bed on our bed, and uh, sometimes it's a little awkward. But this one's super cool, because you can see who's in it from every direction, and uh, that might be fun for them. Hmm something to consider. I'll ask DJ. I also think it makes this makes it with the decor of our bed and bedroom pretty well. And I do have to go open the other one now and see if it looks the same or not, because this is not at all what I had pictured somehow. Very cool. Okay, that's enough going on about that, though. I am going to uh, turn off the mic. I'm going to get all this stuff together. Like I said, thank you all so much. Thank you very, very much. These mailbags have been perfect lately. Just the, just the right amount of time and stuff uh, so that I can, I can get all the important stuff done that I've really got to do. And I'm, I'm, uh, I'm just super happy about the way the basement's going. You know, when you have the urge to do something like that and you get started on it, uh, it really sort of, um, it, it, it takes off on its own, which is nice, but what I was going to say is that it's important to do that when you get the urge, you know, to take advantage of it uh, and not to sort of say, well, I'll still get to it later, even though I feel like I could do it right now. You know, when you, that's the same way you start working out, or I did, you know, so when I just, I had the urge, I'm like, hey, I could go work out. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to. That's what I'm going to do right now since I feel like I could. Uh, and it just took off from there. So the basement too. All right, uh, mic time. Thank you so much, everybody.
got to play in this plastic wrap, which is, you think it's labeled not a toy, kids. Come on now. Can't you read? What do they even teach you at this academy? Well, DJ says that she loves this bed, and she also loves the bed for teaspoons, so that's great. She's been watching them in there on the TV uh, in the kitchen while she is cooking. Fantastic all around. Uh, what am I doing now? Let's see. We're going to carry this stuff downstairs and get another box for me to take care of down there. That's fine, though, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is, Other Barry. Uh, I don't know why I'm quoting Archer now. That's the second time recently. I guess I did have it on as like background noise not too long ago. That must be why it's on my mind. This is the teaspoon bed. I'm going to put it in here for now. Uh, when I when DJ said that the teaspoon bed the, on a post is perfect for him, like just like I said, she said very. She's just like that's exactly the kind of thing he would like. So well done, ginger cat lover, and uh, well done, trouble and carry. That's going down. These are going up. Well, one of them's going to the kitchen. The rest of them are going up, I think. I am going to leave this down here for the moment since they are all enjoying it so much. I'm just going to move it back here a little bit out of the way. Okay, maybe right there. Maybe we move the sofa up a little. Oh, the fish needs to be recharged, huh?
here. Yeah. Did you see the toy brain, by the way? Uh, I'll play with it right now. But. Okay, I guess Joyce made it out somehow. Wow, that brain is popular, huh? That's good. Kids, I can see you're pushing that door down. Oh, you have one of the new springs. You have two of the new springs over here. Oh, how do you choose? How oh, do you choose, little geek? Go. Oh. Yeah, let's bring it back over here where they're at least visible. This is going to go back to charge, but you don't need to charge, do you? You're good to go if I just turn you back on. Oh, a little too good to go, maybe. What do you think, Maggie? You like the brain too, huh? Everybody's into this thing? Oh, oh meow? You just meow about it? I know you're going to hiss the kittens and hit them. They come over here to wrestle you. Yeah, that's what I just said. All right, let's open the door for everybody now. DJ's done cooking, so we can open this up. Everybody can run around a little bit. Freedom!